Welcome to the Guildford Festival of Speed 2018. As I'm sure you've guessed by the title, this is an incredibly significant video. I am absolutely blessed and honoured. This is a world first drive of anybody outside of McLaren to experience the new 600 LT. We're just going to take a quick look around and show you what's behind us. Uh, several centers. We've got an F1 GTR long tail here, and conveniently next to that is our 600 LT. Let's go check it out. <laughs> first look video yesterday but that didn't have all of the options on which you can get on the 600 LT this one does including the arch louvers that were kind of made famous by the 675 LT massive deal now all I've done so far is sat in this car stationary this thing is on paper sounds fantastic the whole idea of the LT series it's that more connected drive purest ethos lightweight more power um, they've even gone to the extent of making the engine mounts more rigid so you get more vibrations from the engine through the tub through your bum through the steering wheel it's that greater sense of connection uh, one of the standout features or should I say optional extras for the 600 LT is the option to spec the new McLaren Senna seats these things weigh like five kilograms they're this balloon formed uh, sort of carbon skin of a seat which wraps around you beautifully with these really nice padding it's all about ultra lightweight ethos um, these guys are now going to stuff us in the car and we're going to go up the hill. This is the first dynamic debut from anyone outside of McLaren to drive this car. I'm very excited about it. The ethos makes my spine tingle. This for me is kind of the most iconic feature of the car. Top exit exhaust. Now the cool thing about this is they're right behind your head. Part of the lightweight uh, vibe is that they made the glass thinner in this car to help with the weight saving, which means more vibrations through the inside of the cabin which means you're going to be able to hear these things fantastically well. Look, congratulations on your new car, by thank the you, way. Thank you, thank you. You're good. I'm, I'm coming in to just tell you. Yeah, it's raining. it's raining. I know. <laughs> and I'm on fresh, basically track bias tires. <laughs> so <laughs> no pressure. Very epic. I think this looks so cool. We're going to hop in and uh, experience I'm this not, car for the are. first time. Yeah, I can't believe it's raining. It's been sunny six weeks in a row. And now we're, we're driving this car. Wish me luck. Enjoy. <laughs> <See you later. laughs> Look who it is, Mr. Ollie Webb himself, no less. I've chosen the right guy to go up yes. the hill with. The the fascinating thing is, um, you were supposed to be driving a car. Yes. And now you're about 35 seconds ago. I was meant to be smoking really a car up the hill, but instead I'm uh, co-piloting. Uh, yes. Feeling very safe. There's in James's someone behind hands. me in a Santa. I'm, I'm strangely. More excited about this car. Oh, this car really it sounds really. Insane. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I can't believe it's raining, mate. I cannot believe this. It's such a shame. The only time all weekend. I know. It's oh well, at least they'll be slippy off the line. That's good. Yeah. So we're gonna try and activate uh, burnout mode. It's raining properly now. It's, it's probably raining. Well, we it's can still do the same we, thing off the line. How do we? Do so that? we'll hit active, active on track track. Yeah. Hit EAC once. Then press and hold, and then on the screen, handling, then confirm, there you go, confirm, press one more time, danger. Mate, that's we like Morse code off. to turn that thing that up. That is. That's the McLaren way. Okay. Safety cool. first. Safety first. Cool. I like this already. Pretty good. I like this already. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm trying not to get distracted by a Senna doing a I donut know. behind me. It's this the first is, time I've seen a Senna do a donut. This is yeah. crazy. It looks like he's slightly overcooked it as oh. well. <laughs> the safer way is to look a bit like a numpty and yeah. park it oddly than hit and then another like, Senna. I'm just going to leave it here because yeah. I'm a boss. Yeah. <laughs> so the craziest thing about the festival of speed, I think, is just the the traffic jams on car parks you kind of find yourself in. Here's George. How's it going? Good? Yeah. Did that Senna just do a burnout? Yeah, the Senna did just do a burnout. Cool. It's pretty rad, right? Yeah, yeah, just, just, just yeah. <laughs> George couldn't join me uh, on this drive. Although now it's raining, you're probably thankful for that. <laughs> not, not, not to do discredit to James' <laughs> Thanks, driving. Thanks, mate. Cheers, but... Yeah. <laughs> but yes. Yes. <laughs> Have I got a brake pedal down here? Never mind, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you're on the right-hand side with no wheel, no brakes. <laughs> no, I, was, I was just saying you don't get used to these, this calibre of traffic jam. No. There's everything. 
Should we go have a little uh, walk and talk through the traffic? If camp? we're up here, you go for it. I'll here. sit in the passenger seat and I'll move it. The traffic jam that I've been talking about, the famous traffic jam. Uh, this is day one. So behind you is if you've ever, if you've never attended Festival of Speed, but you've seen it on YouTube or on, on TV, this is the famous turning circle where everyone decides to do multiple burnouts and turn their car around by flicking it around rather than sedately turning it around. So keep an eye on this place. I just had a quick play in that. Very friendly, very approachable when it breaks loose, even with these sticky tires on. Although today, granted, I know I keep talking about the weather, not so sticky. We're now gonna go up that traffic jam. Just look at that. So what all those lights are that you can see there uh, is basically the best modern day supercars currently in production, all in one place. Take a look. To be in this event, like I was saying earlier, I, I sort of started attending Goodwood when I was yay high, and the guys standing on the other side of those hay bales, never in a million years did I think I'd drive up it. Never ever in any amount of years did I think I'd be driving a world first, the 600 LT, up this track for the first time. What an honor. We're gonna hop in now, work our way through this queue, and see how it feels, and we'll debrief you at the top if Ollie can keep his hands steady enough to take you along for the ride. He's revving it now. like the 675 when you time the shift at the right revs it has that awesome whip crack and it's closer to your ears and it's much closer like you can really hear it wow <laughs> <laughs> i think we're on the limit on the burnout anyway yeah i think so it was first second third <laughs> i think i did actually lift up a bit too quickly i had a yeah, slight, and then it a went, slight snap but it was okay it's the temptation not to oh. overcorrect it nice job Dude, this thing, what was that? 56 seconds worth of kill climb? I can already tell this thing has hit the mark. So how was that, man? Was that, was that driving okay? I know it was a little oh, bit was slow good. throughout the wet. Okay, we didn't do that. Have you driven this thing yet? No, not yet. Mate, you want to, this is so much fun. It? It's amazing, honestly. Was, were you a bit scared of the uh, plant patches and the bumps? And yeah, a little bit. You wasn't scared at all, what about? All. No, it was, it was fine, but when I, so I went through three gears of flat out burnout and I didn't quite ease up slow enough, so we had a bit of a snap. And I was like, okay, it's wet. We need to calm it down a bit. And then after that, it was fine. But it's so playful. It's like, I was just saying, I was I almost like it to a baby 675LT, but it's, it's not a baby. It's not a baby. No. It's serious, man. It's maybe a... Uh... Teenager. Teenager, <laughs> yeah, an angry teenager. Yeah. Gonna jump back in the cars ready. and maybe confirm a deposit, maybe? Ready. What do we think? I, I know if I had the cash <laughs> it would be, but. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, I'm annoyed at how good that is. Because it's like, really, really gonna have to part with some money. <laughs> I need to de 
debrief about these experiences. I know we did one in the top, and I've gone and done it again, is all I could say. A few weeks ago, I was out in the Senna. I know that was a really, really short run, and you can't fully immerse yourself in the full experience. Still a good enough run. We went through the whole rev band in every gear, full smoky burnout mode, which was really, really fun. All I could see is the rear view mirror is full of smoke. And then the way it feels like, there's definitely a greater sense of connection. There are the slight body roll that you get on a 570S is gone. Uh, under braking, it's just flat. It's very <laughs> confidence inspiring. Gear shifts, as I'm sure you've heard, absolutely razor sharp, instant. They really slam it home. And the main thing is, as I keep going on this channel, it's all about theater, drama, how it makes you feel. This thing delivers it. Intravenous, straight to the arm. the McLaren Hospitality, I'm still coming down off that. What a phenomenal experience. Uh, they've gone and done it again. They've sprinkled the LT treatment all over the 570. It's amazing. I'm gutted I only had a very short run with it, but it was definitely enough for me to tell how incredible that thing is. Uh, I've been told that I'm going to get the full immersion drive later on in the year, around about September sort of time. So, two things, big questions. Put your questions below, anything you want to know about the car, and I'll try my best while I'm here with McLaren to find out about it from these guys and reply to you. And the big one, if I was to confirm on one of these cars, what spec should it be? As always guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.